So Dom, I understand that University of Queensland had a goal to reach net zero emissions. Um, how has the, the, the Warwick Solar Farm gone towards achieving that goal? But the University was looking towards a, a big goal of goal and that was to be 100% renewables and hence the Warwick Solar Farm came into play at 64 megawatts it was able to completely offset uh, more than 100% the University's combined energy demand. So tell me about the system design at Warwick and how is the NX Horizon and supporting true capture technology helping you achieve the, the desired outcomes? The design here at Warwick Solar Farm is built around the single access trackers. We find with the true capture system, uh, we are able to optimise those morning and evening shoulder periods. And that tends to be where the most volatility is in the pricing in the national energy market. And we feel that over time, it will enhance the performance of the solar farm in terms of the generation that we can actually obtain uh, at this location. Warwick has some woolly residents here. Can you tell me how sheep came to be part of the picture and sort of some of the benefits that sheep can add to a solar farm and vice versa? From the initial design work that was done, it was always intended to have sheep yep. roaming here on site. Having livestock on the solar farm to optimise the use of the land, yeah. it makes it easier for the facility to be accepted in an agricultural space. Utility solar has faced its share of challenges in Australia, but since around 2018, things have been ramping up exponentially. Where do you foresee solar infrastructure of this nature is going to be in the next decade? We're in Australia, we've got an immense amount of sunlight here. Mm. I mean, we're ideally positioned yeah. to be a powerhouse for solar generation, and I'm very confident in the future of utility scale solar in Australia. All right, thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.